Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here. If you saw my recent videos, 40 sucks. Does it really suck? 1.65 times more tissue crush than similar 9mm HSTs. Uh, I'm thinking 13 plus 1, 14 rounds of 40 is kind of the best balance I could have on me to handle most situations. I was impressed with the one I borrowed so much that here we go with a shorter barrel, 3.6 inch version. Already had really nice night sights on it. Already had an apex trigger and nobody seemed to know it had the most expensive nice sights and apex trigger in it. Nice little take up, short crisp wall, very short reset. So 14 rounds of 40. Does it make the most sense i think it might make the most sense for me to be my new carry pistol let's see how she does 2.0 3.6 inch 40 why 40 because i got a steal it already had a 130 40 dollar night sights 125 dollar apex trigger in it deals are out there when you look deals on ammo are out there and especially deals on old stock top hollow point entities gold dots, etc., are out there. So, I'm gonna see if I can put, uh, it's probably a combat hold. We'll see if I'm hitting high or low. It's probably a combat hold. 70 yard headshots. Let me see about the trigger. That last one. I'm having audio problems, uh, but as you see on the target, I thought it was a combat hold, but I'm actually hitting most of the shots high. So I decided I'm going to go again with another five shots using a six o'clock hold. And now that I'm a little bit used to the trigger, let's see how I do. Yards, uh, not a combat hold, and see if I can aim a little lower. Make sure I don't hit quite as high. Make sure I don't hit quite as high. reason the audio clipped out again guys but let's see how i did with the second string of five headshots using a six o'clock hold and i got one jagged hole all touching so i'll buy that for a dollar i'm much happier with the performance there now why everything's a little bit to the left is that just trigger control maybe the rear sight's off just a tiny bit like it is on my shield plus i don't know just five yards now. Let me do a bunch of two. I, I, I topped it off 13 plus one. Let's uh, go for two shot drills and just let me get used to feeling this trigger, which I do like this Apex trigger better than the typical trigger. Uh, but I got to get used to it. Obviously, you saw a big difference there in the first and second time go around. I can't really see the A box on this target as it shirts too dark. The second one a little low. Yeah. Happens to know why the audio clicked out again from my cell phone. Please let me know. It's done it a few times. This is the second video it's done it on. I know that stinks. My apologies. Please bear with me as I do some controlled pairs and just slightly faster each time getting used to the recoil impulse and mostly the trigger break. Uh, very nice trigger there. And everything is a little to the left. And I am left eye dominant right hand shooter, but it does seem like it is shooting a little bit to the left. Um, you know, maybe not even a mutt, uh, enough to want to change, uh, you know, drift the rear sight since I don't do it myself. And uh, anyway, it uh, looks like the 40 is more than capable of being controlled and making good, accurate shots. So, so far, so good in my pistol evaluation for carry purposes. Go from five yards now. Five yards, we're going to do some motion beaker failure drills. I'm going from already today, new range, uh, and all that. Uh, I'm going to be able to do that as well. Uh, going to be able to do that as well. Going to be able to do uh, it handles the recoil quite good. I like the balance, I think, better than even the 4-inch. The trigger's nicer being the Apex trigger. And uh, just getting used to it. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! See how I can.
All right. Rules lawyer breaking the line at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Only five errors, not seven. It's probably doing seven. But all eight, you hear the body shots in the A zone. And uh, this, most of these were here. One of those looks like, was it one, two, three, four? There's my four. One, two. This was only five yards, but four Mozambiques uh, with eight shots all in the A box and three out of four really good headshots. One was just a little in the corner of the eye. I think that's really good, especially for the first time with a pistol. So I'm performing really well with it. It also seems to have better recoil control than the previous four inch uh, version I borrowed. I think maybe that's less slide mass hitting forward. So I'm not as disturbed between shots. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Since the incident in Wisconsin in the mall, the dig and drill, this is only 25 yards, but I've been trying to shoot regularly at 25. I need to get back out to 40 again. New pistol, I'm gonna be carrying it, running that trigger bank. It is a big, wide front night sight, which I prefer, that obviously hurts you. Long distance, let's just turn around to 25 yards from this little 3.6 inch subcompact. Seventh round, I think I threw the left. I hope they're on. See if we got eight out of ten. We're going to look off of it. We'll go to a new turn. And so. I hit nine out of ten here, guys, with four good center line hits, and I was aiming center. I wanted to see what I could do with this pistol without adjusting. Four center line hits, uh, one B zone, two questionable C zones, kind of would stop him a little bit. One in the shoulder, and one barely nicking his arm, which is mostly luck. And then one complete flyer I didn't see way up high left. So basically one and a half <laughs> misses, <laughs> one miss. So nine out of 10, four were solid, three were pretty disabling, uh, but I was aiming center, whereas opposed to in the realistic dick and draw I did with the scissor jacks beforehand, jacking my heart rate up, I always aimed to the upper left of his chest, aiming high right because I'm a right-handed shooter and right-handed shooters mostly pull low left. So unless you do it all the time and you have <laughs> more than 50% perfect trigger breaks, um, you probably want to adjust your aim point unless you're like a grandmaster shooter to the upper left and the ones that are perfect will go there and the ones that pull are going to pull in the direction if you're right-handed, vice versa if you're left-handed. So make sure that you are practicing some well, pretty well. Uh, I think I might like the shorter version the one I had. I think I might have got a little high those last couple. Fast five at five yards. I got three touching each other, one jagged hole in the A box, one just outside or touching the line. A B, but hitting her forearm, and then one in her hand as your eyes are attracted naturally to the thing trying to hurt you. And this is another thing for 40 over 9 millimeter. 180 grains, going to have more mass, more momentum to go through the bone and still penetrate deep into the upper thoracic cavity. Something to consider. All right, guys, so that, I think that was a pretty impressive fast five at five, uh, five yards. So let's do fast five at seven yards. That's how I train. A lot of guys do gill drills, six shots. I train five, three, two, typically. And you use what you got to use. We also got magazine capacity, multiple tankers to pick up. Shut it! <laughs> Sister vertically with those five looks like a one a little low, but on the spine. Uh, two in the A box, one in the B box going up, and the fifth in the hand. So still would be pretty successful, uh, pretty damaging, all pretty center line. Uh, the splits weren't the fastest at seven yards, 
But typical defensive gun use, 3-5, most of your shots as a civilian in most likely scenarios. So even the slightly slower uh, with a 40 over a 9, I'm still thinking the advantages in tissue crush, mass, momentum, going through bone, sideways shots, uh, through barriers, that it might pay off. And so let me know what you think in the comments down below. And let's finish with the hollow guys, hollow point function test. Before I carry it, I got three different types of top hollow points in here. The first three should be screaming hot. I got to know if that's too much recoil compared to the other two. But maybe this is how I would carry it. Let's do four shots. Oh, those first three nice and loud. Say, get the F away from me, you three bad guys. And uh, let's check the hits to the back. Take that before you want to drop the or not. Three is on. And one right there. So that's all fine, even though different weights and different velocities. But even Taryn Butler agrees you might want for specific purposes something like uh, big uh, hollow points, high velocity that are going to give you some shock value up front, lower penetrators, then some good barrier penetrators, and then at the end of your magazine, even better pe barrier penetrators that. Uh, penetrate farther through steel auto bodies and whatnot in case you're in an extended gunfight. What did you think? I got all the hollow points there good on target uh, of my pistol evaluation for this. I think it's ready for carry. Do you want to see me compare it a Smith & Wesson battle, 9 versus 40 versus 45 and subcompacts? Uh, let me know what you think of the 40 caliber down below in the comments, and hopefully this helps you evaluate a pistol for carry. Let's take a quick look at the target, and remember use code Dan the Wolfman at Excess Sights at Targets Online and, so, and with Tolster Holster result. to get a discount. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and make sure to always leave a comment to fight the algorithm. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe, stay strapped, or get clapped.